All right, I gave everybody a few minutes to um, work on solving the two problems there at the bottom. So on the first one, acceleration equals, what was my final speed? 17 what? 17 miles. No. Nope. Meters, Meters per second. Minus, what was my initial speed? Seven meters per second. Seven meters per second. And then I'm going to divide that by what? 120. 120, what's my unit? Six. Seconds. So what's 17 minus 7? Zero no, what's 17 minus 7? 10. 10 meters per second divided by 120 seconds is going to give me 0 0.083 and I think it's 33333. Three, 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 three. I just did. You can do one or two threes. I'm, I'm not going to be that picky. The unit meters per second squared. That's the first one. Here's the second one. Acceleration equals, what was my final speed? Six. Six. What? <coughs> 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 oh, goodness. Six meters per second. What was my initial speed? Zero. Very good, Shelby. Zero, because they were at rest. Minus zero meters per second. So what's 6 minus 0? Six. 6. Oh, sorry. What's my time here? That should have been... Two. Yes, 2 seconds. Sorry. And then so we've got um, 6 meters per second divided by 2 seconds. So what's my answer going to be? 3, three, meters, per Three meters per second. What? Square. Square. That's how you solve those two sample problems. If you don't have it written down this way, uh, you might want to copy it down. Also, you can watch the video because I'll have it posted. All right, let's see what do we have next. On the next page. It says positive and negative acceleration. Um, I'm looking at your outline here too. Uh, so number one, let's see, acceleration, meters per second. Okay, and then let's look at part B. I think I'm on one, or B, one B. Is everybody with me on that? Okay. Acceleration is positive when an object speeds up, and it's negative when an object slows down. We're going to go ahead and finish filling these in. Uh, accelerated motion can be graphed with speed on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. Letter A, an object that is speeding up will have a line on a speed time graph that slopes up or upward. An object that is slowing down will have a line on a speed time graph that slopes down, down or downward. And then C, a horizontal line, would indicate acceleration of what? Straight. So it's not speeding up, it's not slowing down, so it's zero, or a constant speed. Okay, now let's look at our example in the book on 531. An object is accelerating when it speeds up, and the acceleration is in the same direction as the motion. An object also is accelerating when it slows down, but the acceleration is in the direction opposite to the motion, such as a bicycle. How else is acceleration different when the object is speeding up and slowing down? Suppose you're riding a bicycle in a straight line and increased your speed from 4 meters per second to 6 meters per second in 5 seconds. You could calculate your acceleration from the equa equation on the previous page. Final speed minus the initial speed divided by time. So it would be 6 meters per second minus 4 meters per second divided by 5, which would be 0.4 meters per second squared. When you speed up, 
your final speed will always be greater than your initial speed. But when you slow down, exactly. So subtracting your initial speed from your final speed gives you a positive number. As a result, your acceleration is positive when you're speeding up. Suppose you slow down from a speed of 4 meters per second to 2 meters per second in 5 seconds. Now the final speed is less than the initial speed. So you see why it makes a difference. You have to punch in your calculator the final speed first minus the initial speed. So in this one, it would be 2 minus what? Four. Very good. That's going to give us a negative two. So then it would be negative two divided by five seconds. So the answer would be a negative 0.4 meters per second squared. Okay, and then on the last page, there's your graphing accelerated motion. A speed time graph can be used to find acceleration. When the lines rise, the object is speeding up. When the line falls, it's slowing down. When it's a horizontal straight line, it's zero. Uh, it's not speeding up, it's not slowing down, it's a constant speed. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and give you the worksheet, which is actually going to be your assignment for tomorrow.